Good evening friends and fellow reefers. In this episode I will give you three observations I made while battling a sand-based dinoflagellate named the Amphidinium. I will also give you a status now since I have been battling it for 14 days and I think I'm winning the war but the war is far from over. So first observation. This Dinoflagellate, uh, this protist is clearly photosynthetic and it has a clear daily migration pattern. When the light goes off in the evening, it goes uh, down in the sand and I assume it is to scavenge nutrients uh, among the diatraters that has collected. Now, also, I am sure it keeps to the sand because I have a quite big UV filter on this tank and it is not effective to combat this dinoflagellate. Now in this tank I have a lighting period on 8 hours uh, per day and um, it seems like it recognizes the pattern this dinoflagellate as when the light is starting to uh, soon to come on uh, they start to appear on the sand and after 5 hours of light uh, that is when I have my peak concentration of dinoflagellate to do photosynthetic so actually once a day you know exactly where to find the bugger in the highest concentration. So second observation, this protist is really difficult to get uh, water suspended in the water column to have it pelagic. This means that the efficiency of the gravel cleaner, it's quite low. I don't know if I'm able to extract 50% of the local population or to even 25% when I'm using the gravel cleaner and I have to really use the full column of the gravel cleaner to make sure that it is reacting and you saw previously and you'll see here that I'm using quite a long reactor tube probably I'm using too long and that's why I'm facing this problem quite hard um, now this on the other hand we can use a little bit later that it is a heavy protist that likes to stick to the ground but on the other hand if you're not using the gravel cleaner yeah then contemplate consider to suck out uh, the gravel instead because once a day like five hours in in my case when the light has been on i know where they are and why i say they're quite hard to get out with the gravel cleaner is that yeah, I did a test where I used the gravel cleaner and typically in two days they're back in full numbers whereas if I actually did, this, uh, did extract the gravel uh, at the five hour mark then it took four days until they were back and they were not back in the same amount of numbers. Third observation is the size of this little bugger, this protist. Yeah, according to the data um, this Protist is on the order of magnitude 20 to 30 micron long and um, why that is important is that some tip about beating a dinoflagellate they recommend using a filter sock but the smallest mesh size that I'm finding or the filth is 100 micron and um, yeah that's not fine enough so in my case actually here knowing that it is a 20 to 30 micron uh, little being, I actually bought a um, water cartridge filter uh, 20 micron and then I fitted it with some PVC uh, to a return pump. So the first container I let them sit for approximately 8 to 10 hours because then I know the protease is at the bottom and then I gently pour it over to the um, second container and in this container I do have the 20 micron filter um, with a return pump and then I pump it to uh, some then I pump it to some buckets to uh, refill it into the big aquarium again in the next day. Okay, if you haven't already looked at the last video, it was uh, the status on the actions up until day seven. There's a link in the description below, so have a look at that one first. Where we left left off last video. Uh, I decided to chill, let the tank cook, and stabilize and see how it develops. Now, the day after, we had the same status as we left off, with the dino still losing, Cyanos missing in action, uh, diatomic and uh, bacteria are winning, but not, not, not a lot of green plankton uh, visible. 
and on the macrobiome pods were regaining and uh, corals uh, health had improved and fish were healthy. Day 10 I actually had to go for four days of vacation. We were actually having some development at day 10 that the cyanos were now present. We um, also had green plankton, likely, I need to confirm this, also present on the sand bed. But at this point, since I went off, um, I didn't want, I was didn't want the dinos to run now that I couldn't do the gravel cleaning. So actually I uh, sucked out 30% of the most infected areas of dinos. Uh, the top layer, like we talked about before, when uh, the light had been on for five hours, I sucked off uh, the top layer of gravel. And um, this is definitely a disadvantage for both dinos and cyano and an advantage for the pelagic microbiome, the diatomic, the green plankton and the bacteria. I mean, the microbiome not just present in the sand, in this case. And um, yeah, this actually was a good exercise because coming back four days after, actually uh, the dinos hadn't uh, reclaimed this area at all. I mean, they were stagnating, uh, not removing so quickly actually stagnating they're actually losing right currently stagnating losing and um, disappearing and but the Siano they were winning when the dino, a dino goes goes away Siano took took its place and I think it goes with the speed that dinos, uh, the dinos they've been dying too quickly that there's no other uh, microbiome that can take its place that quickly except maybe bacteria definitely not green plankton according to my experience it takes a little bit longer time to grow um, nutrients wise we're at 11 ppm in nitrates and uh, 0.02 in uh, phosphates and i think uh, that is actually uh, quite good levels i'm quite happy that we've stabilized the nitrate decline here on 10 11 so that's a good position and um then pods, yeah, they're gaining corals. Yeah, the health has improved. I mean, I've seen so much growth the last month. Uh, it's, uh, I have to add the uh, carbon uh, and also calcium dosage quite heavily. I almost doubled the um, consumption of a calcium carbonate in two months. So quite impressive growth. But uh, that's where we are, looking ahead, what should we do? I think now that we have Siano here, it's a little bit easier to combat Siano. And the uh, focus will be to chill, let the tank cook, stabilize. But I will consider thinking about more dosing bacteria, beneficial bacteria, possibly also dosing uh, uh, live sand. Let's see. With that said, I thank you for your attention. I wish you a pleasant evening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.